Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to Beyond Programming. And in the previous videos, we finished our Firebase authentication. And in this video, we will start with the database. So yes, authentication is completely finished. We have covered Google sign-in, normal sign-in, login, creating user, and signing up with the user. That's all done. And now we will come to database. Basically, Firebase CRUD, where C stands for creating data, R is for removing data, U is for uploading data, and D is for displaying the data, okay? So that is where we are going to have a dive. So this much we, are, we had done in the previous section, it's the same code exactly. I just refactored a few things. And in the home screen, we are now only calling the uh, user, user ID, okay? And this will be used as our uh, class key. I'll explain that in the code. Right, so firstly, I'll just make a quick login logout button in the inner home screen. I wrap it in a row and use an icon widget. Okay, so on the home screen, our uh, logout button is created. So, firstly, we'll quickly log in the user which we made. Hello at the rate gmail.com and password was password login so firstly let's go to the to the console and i'll explain a couple of things you just have to listen to that So database we are starting, we will firstly create a, a database and we'll start that in test mode, not the production mode so that we are allowed to read and write the data here. We'll stay next and this can be just put it random. I'm in Asia, so I'll put Asia. Let's say Northeast enable. First we'll go to rules. To enable our writing the data that will enable we'll change that to if true simple that's all you have to publish this code okay so in the data now we can go so there's a there's a collection and inside the collection there are databases and then we can have subclasses and all those all those things right so firstly um, we have we'll have a, a separate collection for every user so for having a unique uh, collection name we will use the user id as the collection name right so that's why i have taken the user id after the user logs in so that the user id of the user can be used as a collection name okay so in this video, we will be looking at uploading data, right? So I'll just remove this column from here. And I'll also remove this uh, text widget. And let's just say uh, it a container as of now. And we need to have a floating action button, which will take a child and child will be icon widget icons dot add the symbol of addition that will be, and we'll have an on pressed function and on pressed will take us to uh, the add, add screen button where we'll add so I'll just copy the code for adding navigator code. And I'll change that to add, which will now create. We'll go to library and make a new dart file. We'll name that add dot dot. We'll, uh, we'll just add that. 
I'll uh, add the import the material package and create a stateful class which will be named as add. Now we can import the class here. And for the class, we need the user ID, which so that we can set that as the collection name. So which will be final of type string, and let's say it will be ID. And in the constructor, we have to write required. That should be small f. We'll add the parameters and add required keyword. And now here for ID, we have to give wizard dot ID. Right. So we have given our user ID to the add state class. Okay. Okay. Some problem in our row. We should put it main access alignment. Dot space between. Okay, these two are apart now. So we have to return a scaffold here. So I'll just fast forward the video and quickly make the UI part because that's not our main objective here. We'll just see the functionality. I'll make uh, one uh, button system, the button variable system and second will be our, uh, uh, our text form field. Okay, finally. So it took me roughly 15 minutes and I made um, a text form field and I made uh, a button which assigns some random value and we can change that value through uh, selecting one of these two buttons and we can add some value in the text form field right here. Okay. So we will upload these two things in the uh, Firebase database. Okay. So uh, here is the on press function for our button. I change that to add and we'll make this function in our class state. It will be a future void function, which is named add and will be of type async because it's a future. And before this, we have to make a collection reference. So we'll make a variable which will be of type, which will be final and collection reference will be the type. And the name will be, let's say, reference only. And this will be equal to Firebase Firestore dot instance. Firebase Firestore dot instance. It came down dot collection because we are referring to some collection here. And collection name will be widget dot UID. Uh, not UID ID and the semicolon here. The instance member budget can't be accessed in an initializer. Okay, so this function shouldn't be here, but down. We'll just move this. inside our state so now here we have to return reference dot add because we are adding so reference dot add and here we have to give uh, a title to our field so uh, since it's a true false button firstly, so I'll uh, name it as true 
or false and the value for uh, this will be uh, a string the title is always a string and this will be assigned uh, to the variable which i made here true false this is the variable for this uh, button from for this button functionality this will be true false and make sure that this is a dictionary okay so this will be in curly braces and this won't be an async okay so we'll just move these curly braces up and this down so true false is done and now we have to uh, upload our text so let's say the name will be text only and the value will be the controller so the name of the controller is text controller here will be text controller dot value okay but let's not do that because we have put a validator here so what i'll do is i'll make a variable here i'll make a late variable which will be of the type string and uh, the name will be uh, let's say uh, text only and text will be equal to none as of now basically we are assigning it some garbage value and when we press our button first of all it will validate our text form field if underscore form key dot current state then we'll state state and the value of our text will be text controller dot value and then after that we are calling our add function this should be text not value so now up in the function we have to add a comma here and instead of text control dot value we will give the variable text here okay and after that we will uh, put dot then function that what we have to do after this is done so after that we'll display a scaffold messenger basically snack bar will show dot of context dot show snack bar and this will be a constant snack bar widget and the content here will be a text widget which will show uploaded we'll reformat the code and now we'll add some commas here it's getting a little messy yeah and now all of this code the run function this will go inside a try box we'll add curly braces and this will go in a try box and then we'll uh, catch the exception catch firebase ex exception which will be stored in a stored stored in a variable e this should be on firebase exception then we have to catch the error 
and in that case we have to show the uh, error as a, as a, as a scaffold messenger and there we can uh, simply give pass re which is the exception here and here will be e dot code our exception code and we'll save that okay we have an error let's see so now to get rid of this error we'll change the uh, return type to object and we'll add a return here so that works and now I'll save the code for reload the application and we'll select false let's say and we'll write hello how are you and we'll simply write add to firebase okay so now it says uploaded we did not get any uh, exception we'll reload that in the console let's see if we were able to upload this is the collection this is our document id and for the text we see hello how are you and for true or false you see false the same as we selected okay so we were able to complete the target the uploading on firebase has been done database uploading has been done so we created the first database that's how it's done it wasn't uh, that difficult it, it was an easy task right and yeah that's it for this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel all the filter updates are right here on the channel and if you have any doubts you can comment down in the video or you can text me on my social media handles the link are in the channel page and uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like for the for the video thank you so much bye bye cold and i'm all alone yeah i can't even see sure yeah and i got nowhere to go yeah hoping i can stay afloat yeah it feels like i've been dreaming but i know i'm not sleeping i just need hope